a lot of people will get this MSA and I'm just going to save you some heartache because you get the MSA and a deal is a deal. Don't go second guess yourself later. Don't go asking everybody you ever knew like what they think about your deal because that deal, like if you don't want to take the deal, do not sign it at mediation because you're not getting out of it. It's not like, oh, I can return this in 30 days if it doesn't fit me anymore. Er, wrong. That's not happening absence of like really extreme circumstances that more than likely are not going to happen to you. So you need to take the mediation phase really, really seriously. So probably you're going to settle and probably you're going to get an MSA and then you're going to go to the very final phase of finalization. Like I tell clients, when you go to mediation, we only, and you settle, we only got you to third base, but you got to get home because people erroneously think that I went to mediation and now I'm done. I'm divorced. Um, no, you're not. There are a lot of papers and things that your lawyer and legal team have to do to get you actually divorced. It's like, you know, 50, 75 page documents, depending on how complicated deeds, um, LLC documents, powers of attorney stuff. Uh, you have to do car titles, notes, like the amount of paperwork that's just like to paper your deal, let alone what the court requires in terms of withholding orders. Um, if you have an AID, you may need a BVS form or you will with the court. So like the paperwork phase on the back end, I don't want you to sleep on how long that's going to take. And I'm warning you, and I'm saying this like fervent, like with passion, because people always get, um, or seem to be surprised about how long it takes after mediation to finish. 